Hello all, it's Terhi here again. I'm sharing another layout made for HipKit Club using HipKits from January 2017 and focusing especially on these cheaper stickers from Embellishment Kit. Uh, these are mistable, you can color them the way you want and I decided to make some kind of rainbow effect with them. My simple idea was to add the words or, or the sentence I will do for my layout um, to the, one of the plastic bags. Well, I think this was from the color kit and the stencil inside the color kit. Uh, I decided to reuse it and use it as a little help for my coloring thing uh, and then color the thickers on top of the plastic and then move the thickers once they are dry to my scrapbook layout. This was really nice idea and really effective idea but uh, it wasn't that practical because the thickers has really thick glue behind them and now I have them on my plastic and they didn't want to come off so I ripped them off and then I had to use glue to add them to my scrapbook page but that doesn't matter anyway if you try this maybe you should do it in another way probably cut them out from the sheets they are coming to your way and then add them to your layout if you don't want to color them on your layout anyway that's a little trick for you uh, which I tried and it wasn't <laughs> as good as I hoped. Uh, as you see, once I'm doing this with watercolors, the color will kind of um, uh, lighten up when it's going to dry. So that's why I'm doing several layers of the colors because I want to have these colors really, really bright and um, I want to I want to really do a really bright layout because I haven't done so for a while. So these stickers are my way to add a lot of color to my layout. Uh, and as my stickers are super super colorful, I decided to give um, them more attention by choosing papers which are really pastel toned. These papers are from 2016 January hip kits and I also added few pieces of the Moonstruck Pink Paisley Epamera pack um, to my paper cluster. And then th at this point I was designing the photograph to the middle of the layout, just to the center. But once I was designing it and thinking about it, I decided to not to do it that way because um, too much color and too much going on and I really needed to some space around the photograph, some space to breathe and some space to rest your eyes and that's why the, 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 the photograph turned to the left. So I will set the photograph to the left side of the page like this and then I'm using a palette to set my stickers <laughs> correctly um, where I want them to be. I want them to be as a uh, circle shaped and I do know myself I can't do it without help or without some kind of mm, shape just like this. Uh, palette is so that's why I'm using it. You can use a plate, you can use a ruler, you can use anything But this was lying on my table and it was perfect and it was perfectly sized Because sometimes when you need some kind of round shape You might have a tape roll or something, but it's too small, but this palette um, Plate was just perfect perfectly big and I'm happy about it. As you see now, the stickers are still not bright enough, so after I was um, finished the layout, I still added one layer of colors for the stickers. Uh, I'm using some uh, hazelwood 
American Crafts uh, stickers to decorate the layout. There was this lovely uh, key which goes perfectly for the photograph because the photograph is from Lanzarote where we added one of these lab padlocks to the fence next to the ocean. You know this thing you are with someone and you write your name to the lock and plug it to somewhere and throw the key to the ocean and oh it's so lovely and we did it again we did it once in London and now we did it did it in Lanzarote and that's kind of a scene idea but it's it it was fun it was fun anyway uh, I hope you are inspired by this super colorful layout and I hope I didn't hurt your eyes by adding this much of color to one layout um, but really, I hope you are inspired and I hope this was something new for you. Thank you so much for your uh, time to watch and I hope we'll see you soon again. Bye!